like no new thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Never gonna just It's the color orange. I think it's orange. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hmm. So we've sold one of these. Look out for this brand. This can sell pretty well. Good stuff. Alright guys, we're back home. We hit two thrifts. We're going to show you guys right now what we got. Um, we didn't get some of the stuff you guys probably saw in the video. There was something wrong with it. It was priced too high or the comps didn't make sense. So, alright, let's show you guys. Alright, so these are the things we ended up taking. Um, we didn't find much, but we did find some, some pretty good stuff. Um, actually, I think I'm missing two more items. Hold on. Alright, so these are the items we ended up taking. Um, so this here is a Miro 11 cups like bunt cake thing for four bucks. It probably wasn't the best buy. I made a mistake and I was just checking the listings. I was trying to go so fast at this store. There were so many people and they kept crowding around you like so close. So I couldn't really record but um so I think this was going for like 15 so for five bucks to 15 that's not the margins we tend to look for I think it I think that was with shipping but um, but yeah some Miro items do go for a good amount so always look them up and check comps next thing is this like scream type mask I think it's for kids I don't know for four four bucks I thought it could be pretty worth it I'm gonna put it up tonight um, Hopefully it sells. It's pretty close to Halloween. It's not something I like to pick up, Halloween items, being so close to the holiday. But I thought I'd give it a shot. If not, we're going to have a garage sale pretty soon. We'll probably go there. But um, but yeah, this, I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks. Now this International Broadcast Center, Los Angeles 1984 clock. I couldn't find comps. I have to do a little more research. But when it's something like this and old and it's heavy... Um, for six dollars, I'm looking to probably sell this with 30 plus shipping, uh, maybe a little more. Now this here is a vintage made in USA San Francisco um, pullover with like a collar with the zipper thingy here. I think it's a quarter zip. Um, it's pretty cool. It does have a stain somewhere in the bottom, but I think we can try and get it out. If not, I'm pretty sure it'll still sell around 20 plus shipping, and we paid. 
this one was six bucks so at this thrift they don't have any colors half off right now which kind of sucks but uh, but yeah it's pretty cool at that same thrift we also found this pacific trail um, vintage pacific trail size large jacket with winter coming up these things should do pretty well um, vintage pacific trail we've had some pretty good sales with it um, as long as you you know buy cheap um, but i think we can get about 35 and up plus shipping or maybe 45 free shipping we'll see um, i always like to pick these up if they're a good price and this one surprisingly was um, it was only $6.99 I've found these for like $10. Um, if I have a coupon, I'll usually pick them up. Or if they sell well, I'll pick them up anyways. But yeah, it was a pretty cool jacket. It's nice and heavy. So something else we picked up at that same thrift. Um, this is a Columbia, I think it's a PFG. A River Lodge. I oh, no, Field Gear. We sold one like this um, a while back. I haven't seen one like this at the thrift in a while. Um, yeah, if I can remember correctly, we sold this for... I think 30 or, or more than that plus shipping, which is pretty cool. And I think it was the same size. I can't remember, but this one was $5.99. So if you find these um, all over prints, look them up. They go pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's why we picked it up because we've sold this before. Now another clothing item is this Hudson, um, these Hudson pants. I saw them there about two weeks ago or so at the thrift they're a little distressed and kind of stained i passed them up because they wanted 10 it was 50 percent off orange today so i figured for five bucks i'll give it a shot hudson as far as i know has been selling pretty well for other resellers so i'm going to give it a shot i've never sold this brand so i think comps were looking around 30 plus shipping so something else we found there was this cast iron they're heavy these like i think they're koi fish um 3.99 I'm not sure if they're like bookends. I think they are. Maybe not, but they're pretty cool home decor items. Cast iron has sells pretty well for us. Um, we might sit on it for a little while, but for four bucks, it's worth it. Um, yeah. We probably can sell these for around 45 plus shipping. We'll keep, um, we'll check comps again, but if, any, if it's cast iron heavy, it's nicely detailed pick it up guys if it's cheap enough you will make some profit um so the thing i picked up i've been picking more like vintage um items up like this i don't normally pick up things that i'll like list for ten dollars maybe free shipping i don't like doing that but from other resellers i hear that it drives customers to your store to your store and the algorithm maybe with eBay so I've been giving it a shot and I've actually been selling my lower end items quicker than I thought so I thought I'd pick this up someone was selling this for 25 cents but the thrift wanted this is Salvation Army they wanted a dollar fifteen I picked it up um, I'm probably gonna price this at um, 11 free shipping so another item you guys saw in the video this was in a uh, cart that um, the workers there um, kind of work from and I found this there it's a, it was for four bucks this General Electric with the whisks that's pretty cool um, there's some looking to ship it around not ship it um, sell it for 20 plus shipping and this I've never seen this before maybe you guys have for $1.15 I thought I'd take a shot this is one of those other items I'm kind of gonna list slow but I did think I do think I saw like a pack of four selling for around 20 I believe it was it's like the pencils made from newspaper protect wildlife so I didn't see this um, this type of design but I'm thinking I'm gonna price this around maybe 15 free ship maybe best offer maybe so these items were pretty interesting they had so many of them I asked the cashier what they were pricing these at because there was no tags um, she said 35 cents so I thought I'd give it a shot I think they're vintage they're made in California um, you don't see this type of, like, design anymore, I'm assuming, like, the way it's the cardboard and stuff, that's why I think it's vintage, um, so I'm gonna probably, I took 10, I'm gonna probably lot them, um, 5 for $20 maybe, free ship, and then, so, then the other 5, so yeah, I couldn't find anything like this, so hopefully this will sell pretty good, they're kind of, they're kind of cool, 
their eyelash combs. So another item we picked up at Salvation Army was this Kokolau, Kokolo or something like that. Um, it's a kid's like comforter for their crib. We've sold one like this in the past. A family member donated, like gave us a bunch of stuff of this brand and it sold fairly quickly. Um, I guess this is like a sought after print. So if you guys see this, look it up. This print, I forget what it's called, but just type in like um, the brand name with like butterfly or floral or something. So we're looking to sell this one around 30 plus shipping. If not, um, I'll price a little higher, free shipping. I'll see what makes sense. But we sold one like this. Um, I believe it was in the 50s plus shipping. But I did have other like sheets with it that were the same print and same brand. So yeah, keep an eye out for these guys. So lastly, what we got at Salvation Army was this Cabbage Patch doll. Um, I was planning on taking the two, but I couldn't really find much on the other one. I don't really know much about Cabbage Patch dolls, guys. If you guys do, let me know how. what's the best way to look them up. Because the thrift had about quite a few there. Um, they had them at 15 about a week ago. Now they dropped them to 10 so I'm assuming they're going to keep dropping the price if they don't sell. Um, but I did take this one for 10 um, I used my 25% coupon on this item, um, so it came down to $7.50, which is pretty cool to pay for this. A similar one sold for $100 plus shipping, okay, so that's awesome, but I gotta do more research, but I might price close to that, because um, some of the other ones they did have there, I was able to find the same ones, and they were going for around $15 plus shipping. I do have three Cabbage Patch dolls right now. On my store listed and those I got them at a different thrift I think they were like five dollars each um, so yeah keep an eye out for cabbage patch dolls let me know what I should look for guys this one has like the red ink um, signature and this one's from 1989 so yeah all right so that's all we took um, like and subscribe guys thanks